Hello, my name is Anubhav and I'm Technical Marketing Engineer working for our security business group at Cisco Systems. In this video, I will talk about Cisco Next Generation Firewall Virtual in Azure and I will cover micro-segmentation use case. So in previous video, I talked about uh, north-south, east-west traffic inspection using NGFW and ASA uh, in Azure. So uh, this is my network diagram. I have NGFW, ETH0 interface of NGFW is um, used for management of the device. On ETH0, I have a private IP address and which is mapped to public IP address on Azure NAT Gateway and uh, NGFW is managed by on-prem Firepower Management Center. ETH1 is uh, a diagnostic interface which is not shown in this diagram and the ETH2 interface is external interface. On external interface I have multiple uh, private IP addresses and each private IP address on this interface is mapped to, um, uh, to uh, to a public IP address and um, I'm using those public IP addresses to access my workloads uh, located on web app and DB subnets and ETH3 interface is internal interface so um, internal interface is, is is kind of a transit uh, subnet uh, where uh, which will be receiving traffic and forwarding traffic to web app and DB subnets. So um, with this I'll just go ahead and um, show you that we have uh, route tables. So we have web route table, uh, app route table, database route table and INT route table. These are UDRs, user defined routes. So these routes will take precedence over system routes. So if you look uh, uh, at the WebRT, in WebRT I have three routes today. Um, uh, so first route is a default route which points towards uh, NGFW internal interface. Second route is for application, su application subnet and application subnet and next hop is again NGFW. And third route is database uh, uh, subnet. So likewise, I have uh, similar kind of routes in all the other uh, UDRs as well. So, um, uh, so since my internal subnet and all the other subnets are in the same uh, uh, VNet, so they can talk to NGFW internal interface. That is the reason I'm using NextHop as NGFW internal interface. And on um, NGFW internal interface I'm doing hairpinning of the traffic so if traffic is originating from um, web subnet and going to app subnet uh, we will first send traffic to internal interface of NGFW NGFW will do all sort of inspections and once that inspection is done and if traffic is allowed it is hairpinned and it will be sent back to uh, internal uh, subnet and from there it will be uh, forwarded to uh, the destination subnet. Likewise, uh, if uh, it, it, it is same for the other subnets as well. For example, if traffic is originating from app to DB or DB to app, whatever the case may be, route table or the UDRs will take uh, precedence over the system routes and the moment traffic will hit um, uh, leave uh, nick of that VM it will use UDR and traffic will be forwarded to uh, to NGFW and the biggest advantage of uh, using this kind of uh, setup is we can uh, do a micro segmentation as well so in this example uh, the the complete setup is same I'm just showing um, the how we can enable uh, micro segmentation so if you look in this example on left hand side we have web subnet we have two or uh, three VMs there if we want to if requirement is to enable inspection bet uh, between um, end hosts or workloads located within the same subnet we can add another route in the same uh, UDR uh, for the uh, source as the same um, uh, subnet for example in this uh, uh, in this UDR, I have added and mentioned if destination is web subnet, send it to NGFW. So, uh, assume if my first machine is 1.10 and second machine is 1.20, uh, 
if traffic is initiated from 1.10 and it's going to 1.20, UDRs will come into play and it will forward traffic to NGFW. And NGFW will inspect it and forward it to the destination machine. So now we can control traffic within the same subnet as well. Uh, this is the second example where uh, we have app subnet talking to, uh, to another workload within app subnet. We can add a route. So these are the highlight, highlighted routes. These routes are really important if you want to enable micro segmentation. And uh, this is regarding the database subnet. So uh, concept is same. If you add a route, you can go there and uh, look at the effective routes in the UDR or uh, on the interface level. And then one, if that route for the same subnet is there and next hop is your um, uh, NGFW, it will work. So same rule will apply for ASA as well. So I'll just go ahead and pause this video here and I will uh, go to portal. Uh, azure.com and I will show you my existing setup and I'll show you how micro segmentation is working there. So I'll pause this video and I will resume once I'm connected to portal.azure.com. Welcome back. Uh, I'm now connected to portal.azure.com and uh, I'll show you my resource group. In this resource group I have um, seven subnets um, application, web, db, internal, external, management, and diagnostic. So I'll just go ahead and show you VNet real quick. These are the uh, subnets which I have here uh, in this VNet. Okay, so I'll just go back to uh, my dashboard and I have enabled micro segmentation only on one subnet, my web subnet. So I'll just show you WebRT, which is a UDR uh, assigned to um, web subnet you can see i have associated this udr to web subnet which is 10.9040 uh, 10.9040 slash 24 i have routes uh, pointing to app database and default route also pointing towards ngfw and um, if destination is also 10.9040 slash 24 uh, then again next uh, hop is my uh, NGFW. So um, uh, using this particular route I can force within the within the subnet traffic also towards NGFW. Now I'll go back to uh, desktop and I'll show you my web server. So um, I have a web server here so I'll just go through resource group back again. In this resource group I have two web servers um, uh, located in the web subnet so I'll open uh, first web server uh, which is web server SVR if I go to this web server and if I click on interface network interfaces you will see I have one NIC attached to this web server if I click on that NIC and go to effective routes So in effective routes also, I will see if destination is same subnet, next hop is NGFW. So look at this route here, 10.9040 slash 24, next hop is 3.4, which is uh, internal IP address of NGFW. I'll show the same uh, route table on SVR2. So I'll just go back to uh, web server 2. I will click network interfaces and I will go on that network interface and show you effective routes. So uh, the moment you will apply this um, route, you need to make sure that route is seen here. Until this route is seen here, it will not work. So uh, we have this uh, option here. Now I will go ahead and SSH my NGFW. I'll go to system support 
diagnostic CLI and here I will enable debug ICMP trace and let me see if debug ICMP trace okay uh, sorry I need to type trace so debug ICMP trace is now enabled and this is my web server um, 1094.4 I'll just type IP config just to verify IP yeah it is 4.4 from a 4.4 I will ping 10.90.4.7 and I'll do a continuous ping so this ping is now uh, within the same subnet but if I'll go ahead and see uh, my NGFW I can see traffic coming from internal subnet and going to external subnet so I can see request and reply both so traffic is uh, getting hairpinned on the internal interface now I will initiate RDP session also I have RDP session saved here so I'll just go ahead and click connect so we now have RDP do uh, that connections uh, to that machine so I'll type IP config here so IP address is 10.90.4.7 I'll just go to firepower management center and I'll go to analysis I'll go to events and in events you can see sources uh, 4.4 and destination is 4.7 and session is on 3389 and this traffic is allowed uh, using this particular uh, uh, particular configuration uh, and playing with the UDRs we can enable micro segmentation as well so um, that's uh, that's it for this video uh, I hope you enjoyed thank you for watching